Did you guys know that whenever you buy something in the Rush Real Market you have tons of benefits? You get much better prices than you have in the game client, you can support your favorite content creator with a promo code, and you can also limit the number of your purchases. Instead of several mini transactions you can just buy yourself platinum and then buy in-game stuff such as gems, passes or deal offers with it. If you want to support me, please use code MONTY whenever you purchase in the market. You can leave me a message that will show on my stream as well. For all the people who uses my code, big thanks. Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Monty, and the update 26.2 is here. And I will be trying to give my thoughts, my uh, my expertise, however you want to call it, just my opinion on, on things, uh, how, it, how it is going and uh, how it will basically change the, the economy in this game. Uh, I know that the developers just try to balance things out, how to upgrade units, how to uh, basically get, get them, the, the sources to get them, uh, how events works and all other stuff that they changed. Uh, of course, I have the list uh, what they are changing in this patch. Um, some things are good, in my opinion, some things are might could be better in my opinion but uh, of course um, we have to give them time to what has been changed and what will be changed in in the future updates um, all right so basically what they added is a new uh, system just like it was with crystals and uh, now we have orbs I'm not sure why they they, 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 they basically reverted the change uh, back to crystals of course now you need much much less of these orbs uh, than you needed crystals back in in in, in the days um, so yeah we we'll just have to wait and see how it will be balanced um, another change is of course they added a new gluten chest uh, that is uh, right in the workshop in store um, so how it will work basically uh, you add any legendary unit that you want and you can exchange it uh, to any any unit uh, in the game uh, but of course it will be random you cannot just choose what legendary you want because it would be too easy to get uh, I think it's it can be good it can be bad it depends on how many of those gluten chests you will be able to get throughout the, the season uh, of course, you can uh, ec um, basically uh, add exchanges uh, with your faction cores. Um, it is random, of course. Um, if you have many cores, that is a good thing. If you don't have cores because you need them to um, unlock the uh, talents on your units, then it's not really useful to you. Um, pretty simple as that. Um, another thing is that you can get those orbs, which is which are crystals basically, um, from these gluten monsters if the unit is, <coughs> sorry, if a legendary unit uh, of level 10 or higher is present. Um, not sure. We have to wait like one or two more days for new season because they, they said that these gluten chests will be available uh in in battle bus basically and of course rune keys are back into the game um not sure how many we will get because i will talk it talk about it in just a second uh but they are back uh and they will be able to exchange be exchanged in the seasonal shop uh, which is in primary if you scroll down just a little bit here you can exchange it for dust I wouldn't recommend it ever basically uh, until they do some changes with dust which they most likely will do because more and more people complain about dust being completely useless maybe not completely but um it lost its value uh like it had in uh, before um you can exchange six rune keys for magic orb which is surprisingly high price for just two orbs because back in the day you could exchange one rune key for one crystal now it's six crystal uh, six rune keys sorry for two magic orbs which is very very high price in my opinion uh, because for 
level uh, 15 you need 8 orbs for level 14 also 8 orbs so you can imagine how hard it will be, be to get those 8 orbs right um, because back in the day you needed only 3 rune keys for uh, uh, you, you, you got 3 rune keys basically from one season pass you can also buy orbs, uh, of course, just like with crystals. I'm assuming it's 500 for uh, first two, and then it's 750, just like it was with crystals, uh, unlimited. So basically, just uh, another pay-to-win uh, feature in the game. Um, I mean, it is good because there should be a thing in this game to basically pay your way to to, to have things. Um, so I wouldn't complain about it. You you have uh, Tabjo, you have those offers that you can make, you can complete uh, to get your gems um, and to, to get your things in the game. So I wouldn't complain about it. Uh, so I and I also don't understand why people complain about it. It it, it is like it was with Crystal. So yeah. Um, another thing that has been changed is Legend Store. Of course, I cannot show you this now um, because it will be in the new season, but um, Legend Shop ha will be also... Um, sorry for that. Let me mute that real quick. Uh, Legend Shop will be also uh, changed the orbs will be added to legend store i think in i think two two of them will be added just like with hammers you can get 20 hammers per, per season from legend legend store basically um and of course you can buy legend med legend medals uh by gems and get them throughout the pvp which is which is good in my opinion i wouldn't complain about it as well um so that's that uh what else has been changed uh events events rewards will be uh will be changed i think in 2000 1800 that will be changed to 30 and 30 um let me clear that real quickly yes at, at eight at 800 points it will be changed 15 um 15 of uh, bells will be changed to 30 experimental coins and 1800 will be changed to 30. Um, not sure about the premium pass, I think only the, the, the normal uh, thing, uh, the normal pass, uh, but it, it will not change because if they change this 60 to 30 and this 15 bells to 30 coins it will be the same they just remove the 15 bells but in my opinion bells are pretty much useless uh anyway um what i would like to see is that the event goods uh, how they call it the basically event shop would be changed uh maybe not changed but add more things just like uh, essence uh, uh experimental coins bells to buy more things uh in these shops because yeah if you if you have pretty much maxed uh, account, you cannot use experiment uh, the the event coins anywhere. So, um, so that's that. Um, another thing that will be changed is uh, oh yeah, I can show you how many balls I have. I have three hundred and eighty six balls. I'm pretty much not spending it, not buying it, just collecting for free. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Oh yeah, another thing is that rewards for victories and defeats found in the chests, the one that that chest you have when you have premium, uh, premium feature, um, will be upgraded. Now we will be getting 50 equipment fragment. Uh, I will show you somewhere in 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 uh, over here or over there. Um, I will show it 50 equipment fragment. Uh, you will be getting 300 hero tavern points which is huge in my opinion you can just grind your hero tavern by just playing uh, which is huge in my opinion and of course some smaller rewards like uh, um, like the cards units uh, and and i think 3000 gold will be right now uh, you will have it uh, you just confirm 
another factor is uh, that the changed is random roulette it is now possible to draw a legendary unit and it will be um, improved in some sort just like with the shop you will uh, not have to wait uh, that much time to, uh, to to draw the roulette again um, and if you don't have premium of course about the chest that I was just talking about uh, now uh, uh, you will need to watch 15 ads not uh, win games so that's that uh, oh one more thing one more thing uh, it's, it's quite a good one because in the shop in the daily offers uh, that you have in primary store uh, on the top you have shop and now you will be able to uh, roll essence in this shop to buy by gold basically which is in my opinion huge because essence is what you need the most uh, at some point as you can see I am always running out of essence because I need to upgrade my enchantments over and over again because there is a new new uh, new stuff new equipment needed for new units and stuff and stuff like that so yeah and uh, for those who always uh, wondered what's going to happen with star coins they confirmed that star coins are coming back in random league not sure why they removed it for just one random league people got really upset because they were ready to upgrade units um sorry for that um so yeah that's that uh i'm really happy like they they they, they really try to make the game better um sometimes they fail sometimes they really su succeed mm, in some departments uh i i feel like they they started um hearing not not like listening to our uh suggestions but hearing them actually hearing them and and making some steps towards making the game actually better which i'm happy uh so yeah uh i've already spent uh, 1500 experimental coins um probably going to show you in this video somewhere uh unfortunately i didn't get any any of those orbs uh which which sucks of course because uh i need i need them to to upgrade my final units uh so yeah uh what i would also like is uh, the change to hunting coins in my opinion hunting coins um, if you have uh pretty much maxed uh, epic heroes and rare heroes and and flicker uh, and whatever else is that in that shop um you don't really have any use of that like you can see i have eight thousand eight thousand five hundred of those coins and i cannot do anything about it like maybe they will add stuff in the future hopefully um because right now it's a pretty much dead resource in my account um they already changed the clan coins which is huge in my opinion they they added uh, back the crystals which are magic orbs right now um they improved legend medals you can get four medals per win right now which is huge as well and uh, well book will be gone of course star coins will be available to get in in in, in random league again which is also awesome experimental coins now has have more usage than ever in my opinion uh which which is good in my opinion because uh, they introduced it it was pretty useless then they improved it improved it again improved it again patch over patch over patch uh which is good in my opinion uh what i would like to, the, the next change for economic is bells magic dust basically rare and epic tokens because they are pretty much that i never really use them um gold coin <laughs> it's, it's useless as well in my opinion uh i don't think anyone ever bought it and used it <laughs> uh, because you can just grind gold with cops um oh and also what i would like is the co-op change but not not about the gameplay not about how much gold you get not endless cop no i would like gold maps to be back in some sort in some shape uh, it doesn't have to be uh, from 7,000 trophies you get uh, every single time in, in the clan chat. I don't know, maybe maybe you can exchange it, maybe you can buy, buy it, uh, maybe you can get it from event passes or whatever else. Like, uh, in my opinion, 
gold maps needs to be need to be back uh, because it's the best source to get gold for the players for the free to players uh, for pay to win players because pay to win players usually don't buy gold for, by platinum and uh, so that's not uh, yeah um, overall I, I think it's not as bad patch as people think I think they are already going for the right direction maybe with the orbs we just have to wait and see how many rune keys and how many orbs we'll be able to get throughout the season uh, if they, if if it's going to be too less, uh, they might have to increase it a bit uh, because they want to improve upgrading legendary cards above level 11. Uh, but overall, um, I think I think it's the decent patch. It's not the best patch, of course. Uh, I think the best patch was 24.0 when Scrapper was Scrapper Talents was introduced and all other stuff. Uh, but overall, I'm I'm pretty happy. Uh, I wouldn't rank it the highest, the best patch, uh, but it's not the, the worst patch either. Uh, I think the worst patch was 26.0, and they 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 know that, and they they are trying to fix the problems. They are trying to make the game actually better uh, from that point. So yeah, I'm happy. I uh, hope you are happy as well, and uh, hope you like the video. <laughs> Me basically talking, not doing much in this. Um, but I would like to make uh, videos like that much more often, just give my opinions, my thoughts, maybe some expertise, uh, maybe some ideas or whatever, uh, just talk and help, help you guys understand things a bit more. So uh, see you guys in the next video, like, subscribe and comment down below and see you guys next time. Hey there! Thanks for watching and if you like the video please subscribe and like as it helps me a ton. You can also leave a comment if you like as I read and respond to every comment. Thanks for watching.